telepathic communication, penile gland activation, and tracking devices. All humans have the capability of doing this. It's just that they've never been activated. Their penile glands never been stimulated. And it was done to me on a craft back in the 80s. And it's a process. Um, I had a gray being at my feet that uh, was in a levitated position. I wasn't on a table, I was just levitated. As I tried to sit up in the craft, this being put its hand up in the air and I just went back down. And as soon as I went down, I, I couldn't move. I was just levitating straight out. And this being came up to me, grabbing a long syringe device off of the counter behind him. And the syringe was probably about that long. And then it had like a device on the end of it too. And basically he just thrust it in the center of my cranium right there. Okay, and to this day, I still have a mark there where it went in and it goes straight down. And that syringe injected a stimulating hormone into my penile gland which is at the near the base of the stem uh, base of your brain stem so that being said that's how mine was activated um, someday earth doctors will be capable of doing this they just don't have the advanced technology to be able to do this yet and when they do all humans will be able to project by communicating visuals and thoughts and that's basically what I'm capable of doing with these beings and I don't have to necessarily be with them while I'm communicating with them as they can be distant and they can send premonitions are more or less like visuals and thoughts and they're sending messages this way and I can see what things are going to happen or what's not going to happen and these are like warnings okay um, there's another thing that they did to me too on that craft during the same visit is I have x-rays from well Kaiser where I where my doctor is and the x-rays that's that's actually showing the triangular device that's up in my sinus cavity and basically that was first discovered uh, by a doctor in Sebastopol, California when I had a sinus infection years ago back in the late 80s and um, he took x-rays of my sinuses and he pulled me aside and said have you ever had surgery done to your sinuses? And I go, no. And he's showing me the x-ray and he says, well, he says, you have something up there. And he says, it looks like a broken off piece of, uh, of a surgical device up in your upper sinus cavity. And I said, well, I don't know how it would get there. And um, I didn't want to tell him what I thought because, you know, back then it wasn't real comfortable talking about this. And anyway, the way that device got on my, my sinuses is they used a... It was almost like a doctor's lamp and it had quails on it and it was flexible. And that quail came around like that and it had all these barbs and they were almost like they're biological or living at the moment when before it went in because they were sticking out on this pole. And as they go to shove this up my sinus, they all collapsed down and went up my right sinus and one of those wedged up into my sinus cavity. That is a tracking device. That's how they keep track of where I am. And um, basically it's linked to me and them. Um, and I also have, a, and that's showed up in the x-ray, which an x-ray here is, it shows where it is in my, in my sinus cavity. Also, I have a, bi a biological implant in the soft tissue of my neck, back of my back of my neck here. And um, you can see that also in x-rays, which is showed up in x-rays. But I have implants, and I've had my penile gland activated. Once the penile gland's activated, you're capable of speaking, not speaking verbally. I know when I write a book and I say they said, they're not saying, we don't say with them. It's all visuals and, and basically it's everything's visual and the thought is projected to, to a person like me. It's been projected to me. So I'll say they said, when in reality they're actually thinking or projecting. And that's what penile gland stimulation allows a subject to do is to project their thoughts. And it would be a really cool world if we could all do that here. Um, I would really like to see it done however there's probably not a lot of people with some really pure thoughts and some of those thoughts probably should be projected upon to others in this world it could cause some problems um, so it's probably a good reason why doctors haven't been able to elevate to this level yet but at some point they will and each and every one of the humans here on this planet will be able to speak to
telepathically projecting their thoughts and visuals. So that's how it's done. And I wanted to touch this subject because I had other people ask about this, how it was done, how, how I'm able to communicate with them. And ever since they did that to me, I've always been able to communicate with them. When they, when they appear in my home or wherever they appear to me, they appear all types of places as holographic images, we are actually communicating back and forth. And we're not talking, we're not saying. Um, it's just a matter of the thoughts being instilled in my head and I'm projecting it back to them. And it's like a two-way conversation silently. Um, very intriguing way of communicating and I sure hope everybody in this planet someday gets the chance to actually experience it because there's nothing quite like it. But anyway, thank you.